Hello friends, this is Pradeep with a new video on how do you manage your business card. Friends, as you all know that I've been creating these short tutorial videos that educates you to make your digital life simple. If you like this video, I would request you to acknowledge your likings by hitting the like button. I will also encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you keep receiving updates about new videos, new techniques and tips and tricks. I will also appreciate if you hit the bell icon to receive the uh, notification as soon as I upload the video. Please do not leave sharing this video and commenting on this video so that I can know what have you liked in this video and what you did not like and how can I improvise on my next video that I'm going to be coming up with. So to begin with this video, let me share how do you manage business cards. Whenever in today's world we go for any meeting, any social gathering or any function, we do exchange business cards, but at the end, we are left with this clutter. You must be thinking how to deal with this clutter. The solution to this problem is right within your cell phone. Does this light the bulb? Let me share certain applications which helps you to make this thing possible. And those three applications that I'm going to discuss in this video are Office Lens, Google Photos, and snap biz cards what these applications are let's dive into the demonstration and see the details of each of these applications. and so the first thing that i am going to talk about is office lens this is one of my favorite application because it is created by microsoft so let's see what this application is you can download this application office lens from google play store so let's get started with the first video on office lens Hello friends, this is my mobile screen and you can see Office Lens applications already installed from Play Store. So this is a book that I would like to capture and as you can see that uh, this red line encircles the image that needs to be captured. I will hold the line properly and click on the capture button. You can see that it has perfectly captured that front page of the book. Just in case if I see that the page has not been captured properly, I can reselect the edges by doing this. But uh, trust me, you may not have to do that quite often. If you're okay, you can click on done and you are back to this screen. Let us say, I would like to also add a page to this current picture. So I click on this icon and a new page comes up and let's say I go to the content section and this time again I observe the red lines carefully focus the screen properly and uh, click on the capture button so I clicked on capture and since I want the text to be captured properly I will click on this crop option I will just select the text portion I select done now here, we also see this option that categorizes what kind of document do you want to capture. So I select document. We also have whiteboard and photo. Once I'm done that the document has been selected properly, I'll select this checkbox and you will see that it shows gallery PDF, OneNote and Word OCR document. Friends, those who do not know about OneNote, do research on it. You can also click on the link below on the description as well as at the bottom right corner of the screen which talks about how to use OneNote. In this video, I have explained one excellent feature uh, which will compel you to use OneNote. When we talk about word OCR, OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition Technology. So this soft application also has OCR technology. Let's take a look at that. When I click on Save, it will say transferring, that means it is still processing the information. We need to wait till this transferring option is gone. As you see, that it says tap to open. Now I'm going to open this Word document. And you can see that this is now an editable document. It has automatically understood that it is Steve's job. I would like to take a look at the content. Now when I look at the content, it has the text. Let me copy some text. So I click on this entire thing. I can select the option that says copy at the top right. And now let's say I would like to paste it. So I go to my email, click on compose and I can simply paste it. So friends, did you see how simple is it? But at the beginning of this video, I also spoke about 
about managing the business card. So this time, now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the business card. I open my Office Lens application once again, and here is my business card. I observe the red line and carefully click on capture. Now since this time I want this to be a business card, I click here and select business card and I click check. You can see this is contacts plus image. I click on save and now it says transferring again, but this is now turned into a business card icon. I click on the tab to contact and I click on save. It says import contacts from VCS. I click OK and now it is importing my contact. So let's say I drop down this notification window and here is my contact. I, I click on this B card and this is my contact information which has got my email address properly. But unfortunately, this most of the time does capture the contact number as well. But in this case, it has not done it properly. So friends, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of Office Lens. If I talk about disadvantage, there's only one disadvantage that it is not completely reliable to save the contact, but it is not completely unreliable as well. As we have seen to a great extent, it does capture the image. So if you talk about the advantage, the, ad the first advantage that I see uh, of Office Lens is automatic selection of edges. You don't have to spend too much time in cropping the image. The second advantage that I see is quickly exporting the data to PDF and Word. You can quickly create these documents and just attach it in the email and send it across. The third advantage that I see is it automatically takes the backup of all those images in OneNote. So friends, having the data in OneNote means the data is saved on the cloud. If you have connected your OneNote to the cloud, it automatically is saved and it can be recovered anytime from OneNote. The last and the most important technology that Office Lens has is OCR, that is Optical Character Recognition. It converts the text from the, on the picture to actual text. As we have seen, the demonstration of that and hence it makes it a very powerful tool to be used. So our next application is Google Photos. Google Photos is a free application. Again, can be downloaded from Play Store. Let's see the demonstration of Google Photos. So friends, let's now talk about Google Photos. So here is the application which is already downloaded from Google Play Store. And in order to use Google Photos, I will have to use a normal camera to capture the image of a photograph. So this time I'm going ahead with the book first and I carefully capture the image of the book using the normal camera. Make sure that uh, the focus is right and once I capture the image, so now I will open Google Photos and open the image that I have just captured. You see that this, there's a dot here. I click on that dot and it automatically uses its OCR technology. It also does the Google search on the basis of the text that it has detected. And apart from that, you can also see the text selection. So you can see that every text which it has seen on that picture has been converted into the text format. Again, I can copy the entire thing just the way I normally do and paste it. Here I have copy and uh, share. I can quickly do that. So see how simple is it to capture the text from an image. Let's talk about another example here about the contact card. I again launch the normal camera to capture the image of a contact and this time I'll capture the image of a contact card carefully. The focus needs to be adjusted properly because uh, if the focus is not right, the OCR technology doesn't work. And again, I'll go back to Google Photos and select this contact. And as we discussed earlier, I'll click on this dot and you will see that it has automatically detected my name and number. But you will be surprised to see that the spelling is not correct. My email address is Prati, P-R-A-T-I-P. So at times it can make mistakes. 
So make sure that you do cross check before saving the information. So here is my contact card and I can simply click on add contact and you will see it gives me the option to create a contact. I click on create a contact and let's say I say Pradeep Google photos. Now I just save it and uh, let me take a look in my contact list Pradeep and see this is the contact that I just saved which is Pradeep Google photo. So friends this is a very simple but indeed useful application that you uh, that most of the Android users do have default. Let's once again take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of this feature. So let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of Google Photos. The disadvantage is it does not have automatic selections like Office Lens and it cannot convert the document directly to a PDF or Word. But the advantage if I talk about are many. One of them is it is available by default in all Android devices. It also has the OCR technology similar to what we had in Office Lens which recognizes the characters. The most important feature and uh, useful feature is automatic Google search which searches the text on Google and gives you the information. It also takes a backup on Google Cloud which helps you to never lose the data or the pictures. It is definitely more reliable than Office Lens to save the contact in your phone. So friends these were the advantages and disadvantages of Google Photos. Let's take a look at our next application which is Snapbiz card. But let's take a look at the features. Hello friends, I'm back at my mobile screen and here I can activate a Snapbiz card by simply going to contacts and clicking on this option that says contacts and click on create a contact. When I click on create a contact, I see an option here that says scan business card. This is one of the options that can help me to uh, scan the business card directly without any application. But if I download this application which is Snap Biz Card, that actually helps me to click on the icon and launch the application which is Snap Biz Card. So let me click on Snap Biz Card application and here I see all the different business cards that I have captured uh, till now. What I'll do is I will click on this add button to now start scanning this business card. You would know that few business cards have uh, double sides. So I can simply click on single shot to change it to dual shot. And now this business card application is right in front of me. And I just have to get the image click between these four corners. And the moment I see the focus is right, I will click on the capture button and now it automatically flips the other side, which means I can scan the other side of the business card. The moment I get the focus right, I will click on the capture button again. Now you will see that this has automatically got my name properly. It has got the organization to a certain extent correct. But the biggest advantage of this application is when I click on my name it focuses or highlights the name whereas it got it from uh, the business card picture. Then this organization now here organization name is not coming correctly. So let's say I delete this part and I will have to do a little bit of editing. This way you can click the picture of your contact card and then click on save. As you see that this card gets saved here and now I can use this as a normal contact. So friends let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of uh, Snapbiz card. If I talk about the disadvantage then the first disadvantage is you can only use it to create a contact but you cannot use it to capture the text from an image like what Office Lens or Google Photos can do. Another disadvantage of this application is 
it does not take a backup on cloud. The images are available only on your phone memory. The third and the biggest disadvantage of this application is, unfortunately, it is only available for Samsung users. At the moment, to the best of my knowledge, it is not available for non-Samsung users. Let's move on to talk more about advantages of Snapdash card. The first advantage is automatically you can select the business card. The moment it selects the clear image, it automatically captures a image of that business card. The next big advantage of using Snapdash card is when we want to cross-check the information, whether the number or the details have been uh, captured correctly or not, the moment you bring the cursor onto that particular field, it highlights that field from the business card, the picture that it has taken, that it has taken that particular contact information from. So that is actually very useful. This can be used when, let's say, you're in a hurry and you just took a snap of a business card, but some of the details were not captured correctly. It can happen with Samples card or Google Photos or Office Lens. It can happen with any of these three applications. The next positive thing about this is it it saves the image along with the contact card. So you can also see the contact other contact information which has not been captured correctly. The third one, as all the previous three applications had, was excellent OCR technology. And the fourth, and this is something which I like the most, is it keeps the record of all the business cards that you have scanned till date using that application. So friends, these five advantages makes it a fantastic application. Friends, I hope you would have liked this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and last but not the least, do not forget to comment on it. Thank you very much. See you all in the next video.